finding the projector was how this all began. What started in ordinary ends here. You, me, Dylan. We've all come full circle. There was a doorway here, to where Dylan and I went, where the projector took us, where we met you. The bureau opened the same door here, but there's just an echo now. Are you close? Just on the other side? Is not here. Moved again. What did Darling do with it? I've got to find out. sister burned the rest in ordinary before we could intercept the text on it color slide film this side towards screen and the number 36 the topography of slidescape 36 bears deep wave marks on the slide and in the distance there's a formation of five pillars like crude outstretched fingers there were casualties on our first expedition communication is an issue there is no sound there, as if you've gone deaf. And radios don't work. Correction, a resonance from an unknown source in part within the range of audible frequency. It acts in unpredictable ways, causing feedback loops that can tear you apart. Trench insists he heard something else. It made his ears bleed. Our equipment found no evidence of anything beyond the primary resonance. Trenches, medical tests show nothing amiss. The projected image from each slide is a, a physical portal into another dimension. Only one slide remains. Dylan's sister burned the rest in ordinary before we could intercept. The text on it, color slide film, this side. Expedition 3, we located the source of the resonance in Slidescape 36. It is an entity, a living organism of a considerable mass. I I've named it Hedron based on its physical shape. Hedron? We, 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 we built a Was that for it. you? Did he bring you here? Is that why you brought me here? You're here. You're here. They have you. I know you. I remember from ordinary. I thought I'd never see you again. Hang on, I'm coming.
through here? You are coming through so strong. Darling, use this HRA to lock the door. I have to rip it off to get in. Are you sure? Okay, I'll be there. Hang on.
comes down and there's nothing there. It's just the cell and death. I was wrong. There was never anything there. Hello? Polaris, are you there? You are warm through time. The thunder song destroys you. Happiness comes. Light curls the air. Federal Bureau of Control, how may I help you? I need those field reports typed up and in management's hands first thing the tomorrow. The Bureau's the best at what it does, protecting everyday Americans from fallen threats. There's the new girl, standing around daydreaming when she should be getting work done. Who the hell does she think she is? The director? Are you sure you are not lost? Maybe you can find yourself in the director's office. Oh, great. I was just waiting for my mail. Please, take the outgoing mail as well. Thank you. What? What is happening? This isn't me. I'm not me. I can't. Why can't I feel you? Oh, I've forgotten something. I can't think. Oh, 
Magen rost. Where are you? I can't feel anything. I... I don't want to be alone here. You're dismissed. Where am I? What is this? Why won't it end? Wake up, please. I don't want to go home. I've got nothing more for you. Fine. Now get out of here. Don't let it go to your head. Don't let it go to your head. You're dismissed. should keep trying. You are getting closer. I need to go inside. I need to keep moving. I have a I won't let them win. That's how it happened. The hiss got Trench first. He turned on the projector. He let them in. I have to remember the hiss. The hiss is the enemy. This is all inside my head. The hiss burrowing in. I'm trapped in here. None of this is real. I will fight this. I will find a way to push them out. <laughs> Welcome back. I knew I chose a good assistant. I need my gun. Time. You are a worm through time. The thunder soul stores you. I know what I must do. Start at the beginning. I should have seen it earlier. This is my mess to clean up. My fight. No one else's. I am the director. This is Dr. Casper Darling. I have a classified message for the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. I have sad news. Pedrin is gone now, but it was not a source. It was a catalyst. Do you understand? You must go to my office, the Endgame. It will be revealed.
feel you. I can't. This is what Dylan wanted all along. But there is something. I can feel it, but I don't know what. The motel is a place of power, of change, a place to pass through, connecting everything. This is a dream inside my head. Why shouldn't it take me anywhere I want to go? Grow brighter around one constant. They revolve. Hedron is dead, but you're alive here in me. Maybe Hedron put you in our heads when we met her. Maybe you were always there. And she was just trying to teach me how to trigger you. Maybe I'll never understand. Maybe I don't need to. Trench was the first to be corrupted by the Hiss. Slowly, over the years. His need for control only made it worse. It was Trench who took the projector to the nostalgia department. He opened the door to the Hiss. Just like that. With Hedron dead, the Hiss tried to corrupt me too. But I'm stronger than them. We're stronger. They're waiting. They'll try to stop us. My sister had this dream. Bad dream. I was dreaming with her. Dylan? She convinced herself that she was awake. She's always been stubborn. I knew I had to end her dream. I had to wake her up. I had to rip down the poster she'd been staring at. Cut off her eyelids to make her see. To save her. The world through the time, the thunder song distorts you. Happiness comes like curls, but yellow and red. I know he's still there somewhere. Locked inside. I know, because that's how it was for me.
Dylan's in a coma. I don't know if there's anything of him left in there. If he'll ever find his way back. The portal's been closed, but the hiss is still in the oldest house. And the lockdown can't be lifted as long as any trace of it remains. I'm working on a solution with my management team, but there is still a long road ahead. I'm the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. We're in this together. You, and I. Shawshank Redemption. That's the name of the movie I was thinking of earlier. Not important, but that was it. doorways, then which is the object of power, the slide or the slide projector? Or is the distinction itself a fallacy? Jesse, good to see you. We've got Dylan situated in his containment cell like you asked. I've got medical staff running tests as we speak, and I'd be happy to walk you through the details later. Other than that, what's next? With the slide projector turned off, the hiss are shut out, but we're stuck with the ones already here. We can't lift the lockdown until they're all eradicated. If any hiss ever got out, that would be the end of everything. Well, eliminating them all will take time. Look, I'll do what I can on my end, but my research is progressing slower than I'd like. I think I can help with that. I am making you the head of research, effective immediately. I want you to use everything the Bureau has, every resource, every confidential scrap of data, and find a way to keep the hiss out for good. That's... Really? I, I mean, yes, yes, I can certainly... Yes! <laughs> yes, I accept. You'll do great. Besides, I 
didn't really have anyone else lined up. I'm honored, Jesse, really. Thank you. Do you remember Mr. Tomasi, the head of communications? The hiss he was changed into showed up in containment, near the turntable. I'll take care of it. That thing's not getting away this time. I've heard reports about his particular use of language and intonation when repeating the hiss babbling. The biological and behavioral distinctions between different hiss corrupted individuals is truly fascinating. I wonder if I could categorize the data. And she's already off on her own thing. How do you feel about me taking over as director? You act like it just happened. You've been director since we first met, remember? I am still thrilled. Nothing's changed. Not for me. But the Bureau has changed. Trench and Darling are gone. Their knowledge, anything not written down, disappeared with them. They knew the Bureau better than anyone. They're the Bureau's past, Emily. We won't operate like they did. We'll learn from their mistakes will be better than they ever were. We won't ever be like them. When the hiss got into my head, I saw some weird things. I think Darling even spoke to me. Does that make any sense to you? Well, empirically, no, but... Phantom voices, as well as hallucinatory states, are not uncommon here. And considering the forces that Dr. Darling was working with, he could have been transferred to a different plane of consciousness, physically or otherwise. And that doesn't upset you? Oh, very. And the fact that he hid those forces from me? It's infuriating. But Darling's dream was always to look beyond our reality. But as long as his consciousness can perceive his surroundings, I'm sure he's loving it. Maybe Darling was just trying to protect you from the darker side of his work. Fuck that. I'm not a child. Like, don't just assume I'm gonna consider something morally repugnant. Which it all was. Which it all was, of course. How was Dylan? The same. I, I can't detect any his activity, but his physiology has certainly been altered by it. I can't tell if his brain activity is genuine or simply the aftermath of the hiss. Dylan could wake up tomorrow for all I know. I really can't say. Then I just have to wait for him. But he waited a long time for me. Don't worry. We'll be monitoring him round the clock. If he wakes up, we'll be re I don't mean that in a hostile way, just... Well, you know. I hear you. My brother isn't exactly popular around here. I found Dylan attacking the astral plane and the board. What was he hoping to accomplish? Huh. Since they arrived, his have been corrupting objects which have an inherent link to the app. Maybe their goal was to access the app. That still doesn't tell us why. I have been digging through confidential files and noticed this looks like any data on them has either been deleted. Then maybe it's time someone looked into that. So, there was a moment after Hedron died that I couldn't feel my powers. The hiss got into my... So that explains the HRA out before we knew what was happening. The hiss had us. They were in. I saw terrible things. I mean, I was about to go under forever when the hiss was pushed back. The so if Hedron's death knocked out the HRAs, that means there must be a new local source for them to relay. Which I'm guessing, Hedron is dead. Assuming that word even applies to a res- But whatever it awakened in you, the power you call Polaris, or at least that's what my instruments are telling I don't think we're ever gonna understand all of And I'm okay with that. I'm just glad you're here with me. Thanks, Emily. Well, I've got a bureau to run. 
See you soon. Yes, ma'am, Director Faden. Please, Emily. Not even as a joke. There haven't been any kiss settings in the Could survivors be hiding inside? It's possible. I remember a report about a similar incident in the Bureau of The Bureau of Any of finding the armory? None. Looks like it got shifted. We have Rangers checking. Size the house on. All right, we'll keep teams looking. Hope the watch on the old location. Just in case. 